Serhiy Zgurets, Ukrainian military expert and CEO of the Defense Express Media and Consulting Company, notes Ukrainian forces are advancing in at least three areas of the Kursk region. Over the course of a month, the Russians have really amassed forces and started counterattacking in the Kursk region. Now we are at an interesting stage when Ukrainian troops are conducting, in my opinion, the second phase of the operation in the Kursk region, responding to the Russian offensive. The enemy, using the best trained units, approached and captured the village of Snagist, and in some areas began to advance. I would single out one settlement located to the east of Snagist, Lubomovka, which is 5 kilometers from the road from Koronivo to Sudza. This is a logistics route that we also use to maintain Ukrainian troops. Now the enemy wants to break through to this route, so it has concentrated significant forces there, commented the military expert on Espresso TV. According to him, a couple of days ago, when the Russian forces launched an offensive, the Ukrainian army countered. Today, there are at least three areas where the Ukrainian armed forces are advancing, the Glushkovsky district, a little west of the Koronivos Nagast area. That is, the settlements of Veseloy and Medvishai, which are just to the rear of the Russian group that is advancing along this section. This is an important moment when the enemy is trying to hold our advance without additional reserves and complicate our logistics. On the contrary, we are creating significant threats to the Russians in this area, using our potential. This means that the situation here will be quite dynamic. We have the forces and means to continue surprising the invaders, and on the other hand, to put them at an extreme disadvantage in this area of the front," summarized Serhiy's Guretz. Yemen's Houthi rebels claimed Monday that they shot down another American-made MQ-9 Reaper drone. A video circulating online showed what appeared to be a surface-to-air missile strike and flaming wreckage strewn across the ground. The U.S. military did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the Houthis' claimed downing of a drone over the country's southwestern Damar province. The Houthis have exaggerated claims in the past in their ongoing campaign targeting shipping in the Red Sea over the Israel-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip. However, the online video bolstered the claim, particularly after two recent claims by the Houthis included no evidence. Other videos showed armed rebels gathered around the flaming wreckage, a propeller similar to those used by the armed drone visible in the flames. Brig General Yehya Sari, a Houthi military spokesperson, identified the drone as an MQ-9, without elaborating on how he came to the determination. He said it was the third downed by the group in a week, though the other two claims did not include similar video or other evidence. The US military similarly has not acknowledged losing any aircraft. Sari said the Houthis used a locally produced missile. However, Iran has armed the rebels with a surface-to-air missile known as the 358 for years. Iran denies arming the rebels, though Tehran manufactured weaponry has been found on the battlefield and in seaborne shipments heading to Yemen despite a United Nations arms embargo. Reapers, which cost around $30 million apiece, can fly at altitudes up to 50,000 feet and have an endurance of up to 24 hours before needing to land. The aircraft have been flown by both the U.S. military and the CIA over Yemen for years. The Houthis have targeted more than 80 merchant vessels with missiles and drones since the war in Gaza started in October. They seized one vessel and sank two in the campaign that has also killed four sailors. <laughs> حيث كانت الطائرة تنفذ مهام عدائية حيث كانت الطائرة تنفذ مهام عدائية وقد تم إسقاط الطائرة بصاروخ أرض جو محلي الصنع وتعد هذه الطائرة هي الثالثة خلال أسبوع والعاشرة من هذا النوع والتي تتمكن دفاعاتنا الجوية من إسقاطها في معركة الفتح الموعود والجهاد المقدس إسنادا لغزة